Pope Urban II was a significant figure in the history of the Catholic Church and the Crusades. He was born around 1035 in the Châtillon sur Marne region of France and went on to become Pope in 1088. Urban was a well educated man, with a strong background in canon law and theology. He had served as a bishop and as a papal legate before his election to the papacy, which took place during a time of political and religious turmoil in Europe. One of Pope Urban II's most notable achievements was the launch of the First Crusade in 1095. This holy war was aimed at freeing the city of Jerusalem, which was under Muslim control, and restoring it to Christian rule. The Pope's call to arms was made in a famous speech at the Council of Clermont, in which he exhorted the Knights of Europe to take up the cross and embark on a journey to the east to reclaim the holy city. Pope Urban's speech was met with great enthusiasm and sparked a wave of fervor and devotion among the people of Europe. Thousands of knights and common people alike answered his call, setting out on a journey that would take them through the Byzantine Empire and into the heart of the Muslim world. In addition to the Crusades, Pope Urban II was also known for his efforts to reform the Church and improve its relations with the Byzantine Empire. He was an advocate of the papacy's independence from secular power and worked to strengthen the Church's authority and influence throughout Europe. Pope Urban II was also instrumental in supporting the Norman conquest of southern Italy, which helped establish a strong papal states in the region. He saw this as an opportunity to increase the church's power and influence in the region, and he worked closely with the Norman leaders to ensure the success of their efforts. Pope Urban II died on July 29, 1099, just as the First Crusade was reaching its successful conclusion in Jerusalem. He is remembered as one of the most important popes of the Middle Ages and a key figure in the history of the Crusades. His legacy continues to be felt today, both in the Catholic Church and in the broader context of European and Middle Eastern history.